bigger is big? Well, I have. It was very frightening and it made me very worried whether my place is safe to be occupied. It made me wonder, how can we evaluate building safety? Can we believe it for all cases? Recently, to evaluate the building performance and safety, the technique called structural health monitoring is applied. It typically monitors a building's response in real time using acceleration sensors attached to various floors of the toilet. Then this data is used to evaluate the safety. But you know, installing sensors to all four is financially and practically impossible. So usually, only a few number of sensors are used. And still, existing research shows that safety evaluation is accurate for the general cases. General cases? Yes! The cases that damage distributed among the full structure. However, there are special cases where damage may concentrate on relatively weak or flexible a few layers of the building. And it may cause partial building collapse. This occurs when the characteristic of the floor is significantly different with the other floors. Imagine open water parking lots or high ceiling that sit in the building. Or due to inadequacies in structural design or construction. In such cases, we may not be able to predict where the damage will be concentrated. So, we cannot set our sensors directly on the affected floor. This means we may not be able to capture the damage concentration properly, which will affect safety evaluation. Here is where my research comes in. My research aims to estimate the response of the floor that has no sensor on it. In my method, I got an estimation from theoretical equation first, then reducing the error comparing it with a structural information obtained from the real sensor data. And of course, the validation of this method will be verified by experiments using real structural models. The results of my research will make us to estimate the response of each floor regardless of whether there is sensor attached or if damage concentration happens. And it will lead us to more accurate safety evaluation of the structure. So don't worry, what all you need is a few sensors on your building.